Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. In this video, we're going to be comparing Forza Horizon 4 and Car Wreck Drift Racing Online on their customization. What we're going to do is try and do a crazy drift build on this Nissan Silvia S13, otherwise known as the Silvia Club Keys in Forza Horizon 4. And we're just going to try and make the craziest kind of drift build we can, fully customize it as much as possible, do it on, first of all, Forza Horizon, do a nice build, then head on to Car X, use the same car, and try again with another crazy drift build, and talk about the differences between the customization in the two games, what you can do on what game, and which has the best customization options. So let's jump into it and check out the upgrades for this S13 Sylvia on Forza Horizon 4. All right, so let's head over to the garage and start doing some upgrades. We're also going to do this video on Forza Horizon 5 and a couple of bays and compare the customization on that game to Car X as well. I know they've got some more drift style upgrades and customization options on Forza Horizon 5. So it'd be definitely interesting to compare this video to the same video but done on Forza Horizon 5 in a couple of days and see the differences and improvements that they've made um, for the customization for the cars. But jumping into it, let's go into the garage, upgrades and tune in and then just go to custom upgrade. All I've done so far is I've just simply um, lowered the ride height and made the wheels a bit bigger. Other than that, it's a completely stock car with uh, you know no body kit and no custom wheels. So first of all, what you can do is head into the conversion section and you can put on the full rocket bunny kit. So that's the first body kit option that we've got which is the full complete rocket bunny kit, apart from the spoiler, which you can put on separately after you do this. So that's the first bit of customization, um, you know, selections for uh, Forza Horizon 4. We've got the full rocket bunny kit in the conversion section. Now heading into the custom sort of uh, body kit section, which is just in this bit here. And we'll see what we've got here. So we've got on the front bumpers, we've got three different options. We've got the Origin Labs, We've got a second version of the Origin Lab kit. Very classic kit, this one. And then we've got the Forza front bumper, which is just uh, a tow hook, some canards, and a front splitter. I think as we're trying to go for the most crazy drift build, we're going to head over and grab the second version of the Origin Labs kit. Nice, aggressive, extended, kind of classic drift star kit. Now heading on to the spoilers. Quite disappointing from Forza, I would say. We've literally just got two options. We've got the Rocket Bunny spoiler, which is a nice kind of ducktail spoiler. And then we have the Forza spoiler, which to be honest, doesn't look very nice on most cars. There's some cars where it looks all right, but it doesn't look very nice on this car, if I'm honest, at all. So I think we'll just go for the Rocket Bunny. Another thing you can't do on this game, which is quite disappointing, is you cannot remove the spoiler. So you can't just have nothing at all. I think that should definitely be an option for Forza, but it's uh, currently not. Again, hopefully, Forza Horizon 5 will redo this video and see the improvements they've made. Hopefully, you can do a lot more on that game. On to the uh, rear bumpers. So we've got, again, the two Origin kits. We've got the kind of less crazy one with the uh, trim still intact. And then we've got the more crazy extended one that removes the, uh, the black trim on the car. So as, we're gonna, as we've done the second kit on the rest of the car, we'll continue with the uh, second option. And again, on the side skirts, all you've got to choose from is just two kits. And we'll continue with the second option to complete the whole kit, make it look nice. And then onto the hood section. Surprisingly enough, we don't have the Origin kit, which is very strange. So you don't have the Origin hood, which is really weird, I, I think. Considering they've got the full Origin kit, I don't know why they've not got the Origin hood. But we've only got one option for the hood. We've got the Cybun or Sabun or Seven uh, carbon hood. So you can't even paint this one. It just comes in carbon fiber. I reckon they should have at least got this uh, hood option in a color variant as well, where you can change the color. But unfortunately, that's all we've got for Forza Horizon 4. So we'll just choose that. And that's pretty much it for the kits. That's all we can really do. We've got the Rocket Bunny kit and the two Origin kits and a couple of Forza parts as well. The Forza front bumper and the Forza spoiler. So to be honest, 
a bit of a letdown I would say uh, when it comes to drift tuning and this being one of the most famous drift tuner cars in the world only having three kits not too good I would say Forza I would say hopefully try and up your game for Forza Horizon 5 and uh, get some more options in but now heading on to the wheels that's the final bit of our customization we're going to do on Forza Horizon 4 before we check out Car X and just go crazy with it and show you all the insane stuff you can do on that game and to be honest how much better it is than Forza for customization so let's head into the wheels and see what options we've got so we've got the kind of sport style wheels the kind of like racing wheels again with Forza which is different to Car X everything on Forza is officially licensed all the names of the parts the cars the brand names are all correct whereas Car X uh, nothing is like that they don't have any license deals none of the car brands the parts or the wheels or anything have the correct names but they do have the same sort of wheels basically they're just not officially licensed yeah we've got loads of different options in the race section literally loads and loads of wheels some really cool ones to be honest and then in the next section we've got the multi-piece rim style so a bit more kind of uh I uh, don't know what the word is. Um, a bit more kind of crazy wheels with different parts to them and more complex wheels. Got some turbo fans and stuff as well. Very cool. So we've got HRE, we've got Rotor Forum, we've got 1552 Koenig. Got loads of real life brands. And then into my favourite section, the specialised rims, which is kind of multi piece but kind of chrome wheels. Really crazy kind of stuff. We've got some nice ATS, four bay as well. A lot of chrome wheels in this section too. A lot of muscle car and kind of dub style wheels too. Some crazy stuff going on. Kind of like low rider style some of this. But personally my favorite ones are near the end. We've got some nice 1552 and rotiform wheels. Here we go. I really like these ones here, these kind of triple spokes. So I think these are the ones we're gonna go with. I'll just choose them and I think I'll up the rim size as well actually. We'll put on some 17s. But to be honest, that is pretty much all you can do on Forza Horizon uh, 4. We've got three different kits. We've got the Rocket Bunny, the two Origin kits, and then we've just got different wheel selections and that is it. So kind of a letdown I would say when it comes to um, drifting and tuning and this being one of the most popular famous cars for drifting and tuning as well. You'd think they'd have a lot more options but unfortunately not again with forza everything is officially licensed so that could be the reason why they're probably just uh, quite limited by the thing the things that they're allowed to do and the sort of uh, kits and things as they are in real life officially licensed kits but that is pretty much it for uh, forza horizon 4 that's all you can really do three different kits uh, one hood two spoilers and then a big selection of wheels What we'll do now is we'll head into car x drift racing online we'll try and do the same thing try and build the most kind of crazy drift spec nissan sylvia s13 and see um and kind of compare the different options and the different things you can do talk about which game has got the better options which game um, has unique stuff to it that the other game doesn't have and at the end we'll sort of uh, go over which game we think has the best customization for uh, drifting or not just drifting but you know full car customization and um yeah all the different things you can do so let's head on to car x drift racing online and make another crazy drift build and then see which one we think is the best build and which game has the best customization options let's go so here we are we're now on car x drift racing online we're going to do the same thing we've got a bone stock sylvia s13 all we've done is made the wheels a little bit bigger, dropped the ride height to get a nice fitment. But other than that, we've got a completely stock kit and stock wheels. And same with Forza, we're going to try and make the most crazy kind of drift style build that we can on this S13 Sylvia. So jumping straight into it, let's head into the body kit section. And right off the bat, you can see straight away, we've got pretty much double the amount of kits that was on uh, Forza Horizon 4. So on Forza we had two Origin kits and a Rocket Bunny kit, so three all together. Straight away we've got six pre-made kits on this game, so double the amount of options. And let's start checking it out. So first off we've got what looks a lot like the Origin kit from Forza Horizon 4. 
I'm pretty sure it is the origin kit, just um, obviously, um, as I said earlier, um, the names of stuff in Car X is not the actual license name. Same with the cars and kits and all the parts. That's one downside to Car X, but to be honest, I'd rather have more kits and more options than um, the actual correct names like Forza has. On to the second kit, we've got a 180SX custom front end, looking really cool. We've got some really wide bolt-on arches. We've got the Rocket Bunny spoiler and a cutback rear bumper. So again, really cool, unique kit. Third, we've got a nice aggressive looking kit. We've got LED custom headlights on the front. Nice wide spoiler again. We've got cutouts on the uh, trunk or on the boot lid. We've even got window bracings as well. So very kind of a uh, drift style, this one. On the fourth kit, we've got what looks like the Rocket Bunny kit from Forza Horizon 4. So we've got the Origin kit and the Rocket Bunny kit from Forza. So we've pretty much got all the kits from Forza plus loads of extra ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely sure this is uh, modelled on the um, Rocket Bunny kit from Forza. On to the fifth kit. So we've got what looks like the same kit apart from the arches and a few different parts like the spoiler. Um, the arches as well and uh, the hood and actually the mirror. No, 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 not the mirrors actually But again, we've got another custom kit with some new some uh, unique parts looking really cool And then onto the final kit. We've actually got the Honda Odyssey front end again custom headlights Custom arches kind of rolled arches and a different vent coming off the uh, front wheel We've got a nice very cool spoiler as well And then what you can actually do after you've done this is you can customize every single part individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the missile style kit because I like the, arc, the, um, the vents that come off of the front arch there. And so I'll choose the missile style kit. And then what you can do is actually customize every single individual part to whichever you want. The headlights, the bumper, the hood, all that sort of stuff. And we'll check that out now. So for the headlights, you can go stock. You can actually remove them if you're going for a kind of missile style build, like a beat up drift car that's kind of uh, been trashed and had parts taken out or replaced. Very cool that um, you can do that on this game, something you can't do on Forza. In fact, you can't change the headlights at all on Forza. But as you can see here, we've got lots of different options, not just for the headlights, but for the uh, front grille as well. So we've got different grille options too. Very, very cool. Lots of different options here. I think so. So far, we've got, I think, eight different options. Got the LED ones here as well, looking really cool. I think I'm going to go with the, um, which ones am, am I going to go with? I think I'll go with these ones on the end. And then for the front bumper, again, we've got quite a few different options. We've got stock. We've got a bash bar, which is something the Forza has never done, I don't think. Very drift style, very cool. We've got the Origin kit. We've got this other kind of aggressive looking uh, cool kit. And then we've got the Rocket Bunny kit. I think I'm gonna go for this one here. Then on the hood, we've got the stock one, obviously. You can actually remove the hood as well. Again, something you cannot do on Forza. So something unique to Car X. You can, you know, show the engine off. Looks very cool, this one. Then you've got the Origin kit from um, Forza. In fact, actually, no, this, this isn't on Forza, but it should be on Forza because you've got the, the rest of the Origin kit except from the hood. And then you've got a cool kind of uh, raised hood in the front, in the middle. Load of different vents on that one. And then you've got the other hood from uh, Forza as well. So we've pretty much got all the parts and all the kits from Forza, plus loads more on this game. And you can customize more parts. So, so far, Car X is definitely looking like the better game for customization. Onto the fenders, what you can actually do is completely remove them so if you're going for, like I said, a kind of missile style build where parts have been smashed up and taken off, you can remove the tail lights, the headlights, the hood, um, the arches, the side skirts, the front bumper, the rear bumper. You can pretty much remove most of the parts from the car and just go crazy full on missile style. Again, all of these parts you cannot change on Forza. The headlights, the tail lights, the arches, the uh, roof spoiler like this here. So we've got an option for that. I think I'll go with that, looks quite cool. Again, another option you cannot do on Forza is the uh, mirrors, the wing mirrors. So we've got a carbon fiber option here, the stock, and then a kind of add-on one on the side as well. I think we'll go for the uh, carbon fiber ones. You can change the roll, the roll cage. You can either have, you know, have one or not. Same with Forza. 
But on this game, you can actually change the color of the uh, roll cage as well. So again, a lot better than Forza. Onto the skirts, we've got quite a lot of different options. You've got the stock, you can remove them again. And then you've got the origin one, you've got that kind of aggressive one that matches this kit, I think. And the rocket bunny one, I think that is. And another origin one, I believe that one is. I think I'm gonna go with the, no, I think I'll go with this one actually, quite like that one. On the trunk, we've only got three different options. But again, this is something you can't even do on Forza. So, you know, three options is better than zero options with Forza. So we can have it stock, we can have the quick release pins on the side there. And you can also have the quick release pins and some cutouts and also a window bracing as well. I think we'll go with that. Seeing as we're trying to go for the most kind of aggressive drift style build, I think we'll choose this one. For the rear bumper, again, you've got loads of different options. You can go for stock, you can go for a cutback rear bumper with a bash bar. Again, very kind of a drift style. Then you've got the origin rear bumper. You've got another variation of the bash bar. Looking very cool. You've got what I believe is the 180SX Rocket Bunny rear bumper. Very cool to see this on an S13. You've got the aggressive um, kind of body kit that matches up the rest of the parts we've got. You've got the Rocket Bunny kit and then you've got another Origin kit. So again, we've got all the parts from Forza Horizon 4 plus loads more. A lot more customization options. Very cool. Props to you CarX for having all these crazy options. It's quite surprising how such a small game and a small developer can have such an in-depth customization kind of a system, especially compared to the likes of Forza, which is just a massive company with loads of money. But again, like I said before, um, CarX doesn't license their stuff. That's why everything's got a kind of fake name, whereas Forza does. So um, I guess that's the reason they probably are quite limited with what they can do. But onto the spoilers, we've got the stock spoiler with the brake light. We've got no spoiler, which I'm amazed you can't do on Forza Horizon 4. They should definitely have that as an option, but they don't. And then you've got this really cool, big, wide drift star spoiler. You've got a very nice other wide one, but a bit lower. You've got the Rocket Bunny spoiler as well, same as on Forza Horizon. You've got another wide spoiler, so you've got three different ones to choose from. If you're going for that big, wide kind of drift star. Then you've got this really cool one as well. I forgot the name of this one in real life. It could be Sea West, I can't quite remember. Yeah, I think as we're trying to go for the most aggressive kind of crazy drift build, we'll go for this big one here. The biggest and widest spoiler we can get. Then for the tail lights, you can again have stock. You can remove them if you're going for a missile star build. And you can also have the version without the uh, indicators. I think we'll choose the ones that are stock. And again, something that Forza doesn't do, you can change the uh, exhaust. So you can have like a titanium tipped one. You can have one that points down like that. Lots of different sizes and variations. You can have a Shakatan kind of Bosazoku style exhaust here. Very cool. And again, just lots of different styles and variations. I think we'll just go for this one. And then again, something else you cannot do on Forza Horizon is you can change the interior on Car X. You can have different styles of bucket seats. I think we'll go for this one here. Yeah, you've got lots of different styles. You could even do like, um, you could have the driver's side as a custom seat and the passenger side just as stock if you wanted to. But we'll go with both bucket seats for now. Then you can even change the steering wheel as well. You've got a kind of low rider style on this one. You've got a deep dish with a, a yellow line on the top, a deep dish with nothing at all a racing kind of wheel, a deep dish with two lines on the top, and then another kind of flat racing style wheel with kind of uh, grips on the side. I think we're gonna go with the deep dish with uh, no lines or anything, looking really clean. And then you've got custom handbrake options as well. Got this crazy colorful one. And then you've got these hydraulic handbrakes. Again, something you cannot do on Forza and something that looks really cool. So I think we're gonna go for this big one here. Then you've even got custom shifters as well. So you've got the typical H pattern shifters. Then you've even got sequential shifters as well, like this. Again, very cool, something that's not on Forza. Be interested to see what Forza Horizon 5 has in, off uh, has in store and on offer for customization. We're gonna, re um, we're gonna remake this video in a couple of days on Forza Horizon 5 and compare it to CarX and just see the difference between 
uh, what you can do on Horizon 5 and 4 and Car X and see if they've basically made any improvements and added some more customization options for Forza. I'm pretty sure they have, I've seen some really cool stuff for that. So definitely subscribe if you want to see an updated version of this video comparing Forza Horizon 5 with Car X. But onto the wheels, we've uh, finished up all the body kit stuff now and the interior as well, looking very cool, a lot better than Forza Horizon I would say. A lot more options, we've got it fully custom, you know we've got custom headlights, mirrors, a full custom kit, we've got a roof spoiler, we've got a window brace, we've got cutouts on the back, we've got a big spoiler as well. We could have even put bash bars and removed the hood if we wanted to go even more crazy, but I quite like how it looks now. And then onto the wheels, I think you've actually got more of a selection on Car X than Forza. Just slightly, Forza does have a lot of wheels that are very cool, but I think um, Car X still has more. So once again, I would say Car X is beating Forza Horizon on the wheels. And pretty much on everything, on the whole customization, you've got some old A86 wheels here. It's pretty cool. So they've got lots of different sections for different style of wheels. You've got kind of racing wheels here. You've got a different style of racing wheels, more kind of custom. Some really crazy ones there. A lot of these wheels are based on real life ones. Obviously they don't have the real life names, but you can tell they're based on real life wheels. This one here is based on a rotiform wheel in real life, quite a famous wheel. Very popular in uh, JDM drift cars. But yeah, they've got lots of different crazy options and really cool styles. And again, we're not gonna go over the painting or anything, all the different colors and livery options that you've got. We'll save that for another video. This is just parts and customization. But you can actually change the color of the different wheels, front and back, separately, which is what you can't do on a Forza Horizon. But yeah, we've got some turbo fan wheels there, some kind of stock racing car wheels. We've got some crazy ones here. We've got some twisted up ones. We've got a spider web. We've got some uh, <laughs> Jack Skellington wheels very cool and then again we've got some more kind of classic drift style wheels some nice deep dish ones these are actually just brought in from the latest update as well another thing that car x does better than forza is car x does a lot of updates that bring in new kits and new wheels and new parts to the game whereas forza has never done that i don't think on horizon at least not on forza horizon 4 but yeah pretty much every month on car x they get new cars added new parts new wheels and just loads more stuff to play around with. I know uh, Forza does get new cars in, but they don't get any new parts or wheels or anything. So again, Car X, I'd say, is uh, winning on that one. But yeah, loads of different crazy, um, you know, cool wheel styles. All the different sorts of uh, wheels you'd expect. And you've got some crazy ones like, like this one here, this kind of saw blade one. You've got your classic rotors and stuff as well. And another thing you can do on Car X that you can't do on Forza, which is really cool, is you can actually change different wheels front and back. So say if I like these wheels on the front, but I want a different set on the back, you just press Y and then you can change the wheels completely separately. So you could have some deep dish ones on the back, some you know different style on the front. And even you can actually do that with the um, tire sponsors as well, which we'll check out next. So heading into the final option on the on the customization for car x you can change the tire sponsors and again you can have different ones on the front and back again they're not using uh, real life drift names they're kind of fake stuff like instead of toyo tires it says yolo tires which to be honest isn't a big difference you know a, a lot of people don't really care about having the real brand names i think we'd all rather have different options and more parts to choose from rather than having officially licensed uh, brand name parts that are actually um, named the proper name So yeah, I'd say car X has definitely got the right idea with um, Just going crazy with it adding loads of cool stuff rather than worrying too much about licensing agreements But again, you can uh, I could decide that for example, I want only a tire sponsor on the front I'll have a Toyo tires on the front and as simple as that you can do it nice and easy and that is pretty much it for the customization on Car X. We could go into paint options and all the different crazy stuff you can do there. But again, we'll save that for another video and compare um, paint customization and livery and uh, yeah, liveries, editors, um, all that sort of stuff in a future video. But yeah, that is pretty much it for um, this video. As you can see, I think uh, Car X has definitely won this competition in Forza versus Car X. 
we've tried going for the most crazy drift build that we could and I'd say definitely Forza is quite lacking I'd say when it comes to drift customization. Hopefully Forza Horizon 5 is a lot better and I will do an updated version of this video so definitely subscribe if you want to check that out. We'll be doing Forza Horizon 4 content, Forza Horizon 5 and CarX content over the next few weeks. Streams, videos and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, as you can see, CarX has definitely won it. We've got a crazy looking build, loads of different custom parts. We've got different front and back wheels, different sponsors as well. We've got a big drift spoiler. We've got cutouts, we've got a window bracing, roof spoiler, carbon fiber mirrors, custom headlights, custom hood, custom arches. Everything is completely custom. And as you can see, I would say this is definitely the more kind of crazy drift style build that we've managed to get on CarX compared to Forza. So yeah, CarX has definitely won this one. And that is pretty much it for this video. We'll do another video like this for Forza Horizon 5 in a couple of days. And yeah, just really appreciate you staying to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it taught you a little bit about customization on CarX and Forza and which one is kind of, you know, the best one that has the most options. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you staying to the end. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.